Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Brianna, aka Hook by Brianna. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be going to some local yarn shops in the area. So I have been living like in the Atlanta, Kennesaw area for probably like a year and a half now, but I've never had a chance to expand beyond like Joanne or Hobby Lobby or Michael. So today we're gonna go to those small businesses, just like two maybe. And we're going to be seeing what luxury slash premium yarn is like because I haven't really used it ever. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Don't mind my boyfriend in the back. <laughs> He's driving me there. But yeah, peace. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more videos. Alright y'all, so we just left Sutton with Ewe. <laughs> yarning? No. So we just left. We just left yarning for Ewe or Ewe. I don't know how to pronounce it. But here's what we got. Steven said he wants to learn how to make a beanie. So I'm gonna teach him how to make it with this yarn. It was $12 each. I got three of them. What's it made with? It's, <laughs> he knows what it's made with. It's made with 70% baby alpaca and 30% bamboo. <laughs> it's plymouth yarn, viento. So, yeah. And it comes with 98 yards. So that's why I got three rolls just for a BB. It's because he has a big head and I want to make sure we have enough yarn. <laughs> they have a little, they had a little class going on in there. So, I mean, if you want to <laughs> They have a little class in there whenever I went. So it was like a whole group of ladies. They weren't my age, but I'm sure you could still socialize with them. Cause we all have the same like hobby or whatever. But the store itself, they have cool buttons in there, and they have a bunch of different yarns. They had a lot of feel-good ones. Some of them are like rougher, but it is natural yarn, so some of them do tend to be not as soft as some acrylics or just other types of natural yarn like the alpaca. They had some like $40 yarn in there that felt really good too, but I wasn't about to get like three things of $40 yarn maybe whenever I want to like um maybe when I want to spoil myself but not today and now we're going to the craftivist which is another yarn place that one the yarning with e yarning for Ewe was in Cumberland and now we're going to I think just Atlanta Atlanta I don't know I don't know these parts doing a YouTube video right now trying different yarn places. Knowledge of the craft or just certain tools? Yeah. Like, um, like really nice. But you wouldn't get out of big box shop necessarily, so. Yeah. I'm always willing to share what I know. Well, you usually just go to Joanne. Right. Mainly because it's closer to me. Oh. Yeah, I would definitely come here. Yeah. Whenever I want some special yarn. Feel like it's not moving on the outside, and both of them are the on the inside. I flipped the entire hank, uh -huh. and this looks like it's comfortably coming from the outside now. <laughs> My reaction is so funny right here. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Vincent at the Craftivist. If you're his boss, he's amazing. I might even leave a, a Yelp review. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They you have a Yelp, there? I think. <laughs> What'd you eat over there? <laughs> but yeah, I'll show y'all what I got in the car. I swore it looked better before it was wounded up. Cause now it's kind of look like a poop color all together. But yeah, shout out to Vincent for helping me wind up my yarn. And that was my first time using a little winder or whatever. So I got two mohair skeins as well as the same color scheme, but just a worsted weight four yarn. I got two of those as well. So yeah, I did kind of splurge at that one. It was like 40 something dollars, but it feels nice. So I think it'll look really cool.